Tyler Hero has emerged as a big star in the NBA these playoffs. According to Wikipedia, he's a young man who plays for the Miami Heat. But he's not just a young man. He's quickly becoming the man. People started calling Hero a walking bucket. You know, because he sinks so many. You go back and watch him in high school, middle school, he's always had that edge to him, wanting to be great. And Hero got his confidence from two things. One is that he's a great shooter. He may not quite be Steph Curry, but there are similarities. Two is that he's gotten the kind of assurances that come along with hard work. Nobody thought I would survive there. Nobody thought I would survive here. The former Kentucky Wildcat was drafted 13th overall in the 2019 NBA Draft. And after making the second all-rookie team, he burst out in the NBA playoff bubble. Hero is a good shooter. He was voted the best shooter of the 2019 draft class. And this year, he made history. He became the first NBA player born in the year 2000 to play in an NBA conference final and will be the first to play in an NBA final. In Game 4 versus the Celtics, he exploded! He dropped 37 points, making him the second highest point getter in the NBA playoffs at 20 years old. Only one name has scored more points in a playoff game at 20. His name? Magic Johnson. That's some pretty lofty company. Of course, even rookies like Hero have haters. Paul Pierce said he wouldn't call Hero a walking bucket until he started averaging 20 points per game. And Hero hit Pierce with an incredible reply. I think I just averaged about 20 points per game in the Eastern Conference Finals. Hero was recently asked about making the finals as a rookie in Miami. How would he have reacted if you told him this on draft day? I would probably say you're out of your mind, just because obviously I know how hard it is. Coach Spo has been just reiterating that to us every game, every day, that it's not easy to get where we are, so do not take anything for granted. But it's just crazy to be here and playing LeBron in a couple of days for the World Championship. In the playoffs, Hero is averaging 16.5 points per game. He's also putting up 5.5 boards and 3.9 dimes in his first 15 playoff games. Of course, the next step up is facing the L.A. Lakers and LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Rajon Rondo. In fact, the Lakers have a stacked team. And they're looking for their first title since Kobe Bryant's playing days. Not only that, but they're also using the memory of Kobe's legacy to rally as a team and try to bring the title home in Kobe's name. But Hero and the Heat have a very strong team who have great cohesion and balance. They've dumped out the Boston Celtics and the NBA team with the best record, the Milwaukee Bucks. Can they pull off another upset? Can they threaten the favorites? Or do LeBron and company have too much strength to prevent Hero from donning his cape and lifting the team to a championship? 